What's up, Cap Leets? I'm Peter from Waves and Games, and you're watching Captain Algebra. Hey everybody, Captain Alec here, and last weekend was the Midwest Gaming Classic in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And uh, so I figured I'd do a quick experience slash pickup video for all my non-Genesis pickups. As usual, since we are doing a complete collection of the Sega Genesis, and I'm chronicling my way through that, that'll be a complete separate video. As I did, most of my, major most of my pickups were Sega Genesis games. So let's start out with this year, I actually went to all three days of the Midwest Gaming Classic. Typically, I only go uh, Saturday and Sunday, but I decided this year I want to make it a full weekend. So I headed there, I, or I took work off Friday, and I got there uh, early afternoon, um, and I was staying with Gaming Off The Grid. So I met up with them, hung out, and we had to do a couple errands, but then we ended up going to uh, the brewery district. It's uh, where the old uh, PBR brewery is. I went to this restaurant, which is cool, and then there's this uh, Central Waters Tap Room, which is really cool because um, the brewery for Central Waters is kind of like in the middle of nowhere in Wisconsin, in central Wisconsin, and so they just six months ago opened up this tap room here in, uh, in Milwaukee, and uh, so they even have specialized beers that have been brewed in Milwaukee that aren't brewed in the Amherst Brewery, which is really cool. So we had some drinks there, talking to the uh, the workers there, the bartenders, and found out they were actually having a beer release the next morning. So it's like, obviously we're gonna go there. Uh, so that was super exciting. After that, we ended up going to the um, Up Down, which is the uh, barcade um, in Milwaukee. Had a ton of fun. Uh, Mega Dan ended up joining us there, as well as Metal Jesus, John Riggs, um, I believe Brett Weiss was there. I think I didn't I didn't see them, but David Wise and Kevin Bayless were there, as well as the Hair of the Dog podcast. So I met a bunch of them, which is really cool. Um, but then we just we played a lot of video games. Uh, I played the Punisher with Robert from Gaming Off the Grid. We actually played through the whole game. That is a fantastic beat 'em up. I really enjoyed that. It made me really want to get the Sega Genesis version. Uh, so I need to get that soon. We played Battle Toads. I know I started off with uh, Mega Dan and John Riggs. Then Riggs had to go, and I can't remember who jumped in, but we ended up beating that game, but I had beaten that one before. That's a that's a really fun beat-em-up, too, and the animations are fantastic. But honestly, the majority of time that we were playing games, we were playing NFL Blitz, and uh, we had a bunch of fun games. I know Robert and Wes played first, and then I played Wes, and then Dan joined in, and then Dan mentioned, man, Captain, you and Wes have some amazing games. You need to play each other more. And so we, uh, we ended up actually playing I think three games and I won two out of three um, which is kind of surprising I know Wes uh, is very good at video games too and he's probably better uh, at football games than I am um, and he kicked my butt the first time but then we uh, you know I kind of figured it out in fact the last game I had an 18 point comeback I don't know if Robert got anything any of this on camera it'd be pretty cool if he did but uh, it was a lot of fun anyways we went back to the hotel hung out with Mega Dan and gave me off the grid we just sat played video games all night. Uh, I think we were up to like three in the morning, but it was a great time. So anyways, we wake up the next morning and like I mentioned, Central Waters is having a brewery or um, um, a bottle release as well as a release in the tap room. So we went there first at 11 a.m. even though the con opened at 10. So we're gonna be a late, little late, but we figured getting this beer was worth it. Ended up being um, a butter pecan maple stout and a maple stout. So they sounded fantastic. So we got our limit of the bottles. We got uh, two each um, of each flavor. And then so each of us got four bottles. And then we went upstairs to the tap room and had the butter pecan one on tap. And it was fantastic. It was uh, pretty much the best way to start uh, the morning before the convention. Give me a little liquid courage for what was about to come. And uh, then we went to the convention and it was touted as the biggest Midwest gaming classic ever, and it was. It actually took up all three floors. Now, it wasn't uh, completely all three floors. I believe there's a gymnastics thing going on on the third floor, as well as part of the Midwest gaming classic, but it was really cool. So the vendor hall was on the bottom floor, and I believe on the second floor was like the arcades and stuff, and I, I don't remember what was on the third floor. I really, honestly, I spend most of my time in the vendor hall, but ran into a bunch of people. Uh, Chris Pico, TJ Katsuna, yeah. TJ Kitsune and Mega Matt, 
Joe and Grant from Video Games Monthly, Dan Brosman, uh, the Game Beaters were there. Just so many cool people, and that's one of my favorite things about conventions is just seeing people that I, you know, basically get to see once a year, maybe twice a year, depending on conventions. And uh, for some of these people, I haven't seen in a couple years because uh, of COVID happening. Like Game Beaters, I haven't seen since uh, Midos Gaming Classic 2019. So it was really cool to catch up with them, got a picture with them and stuff. And I was terrible at taking pictures. Every time I go there, I just kind of forget. I'm just too busy enjoying, like, hanging out with people. Uh, so thank you to Dan B. From, uh, uh, to send me the pictures so I could show you guys some pictures of what was going on. I uh, ran into John Riggs again, uh, and Metal Jesus was there. Kelsey Lewin, I got to meet her, uh, which was really cool. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else, and I'm sorry. Oh, John Aguilera. How can I miss, forget John Aguilera? He was awesome. Uh, but it was just a good time, and then we finally, you know, probably got there around noonish uh, after the, the getting the beer at Central Waters. And then it probably took another half hour, 45 minutes for me to actually start looking around the vendor hall. Just I was too busy talking to people, catching up and stuff. And obviously my goal was to look for a Sega Genesis games. And uh, we'll get to that in the next video. Uh, but it was just cool just walking around. Um, I kind of want to highlight some of the people I talked to. Now Metal Jesus, uh, I'm a huge fan of his. He's one of the first YouTubers I really started watching when I first uh, got into YouTube. Uh, because I, I wanted to get back into video games and there were so many games that I had never heard of that I watched a lot of his hidden gem videos and his buying guides and it was like finding about all these games that I'd never heard of that I needed to have. But dude is so down to earth, so easy to talk to. Uh, you can even uh, talk to him about insurance if you want, right Mega Dan? <laughs> Uh, but, and it was also cool because he's my height and I don't find many people my height so I can actually look him in the eye so I have to like look down at somebody. Um, so that's cool. And I really want to mention John Riggs. This is probably the third or fourth time I've met John Riggs at a convention. And what's really cool is, obviously, I'm a very small YouTuber. He's a much larger YouTuber, but he treats me like his equal. You know, he sees me, he says, hey, hey, Captain, and stuff. Or he, and he uses my real name, for those of you that know it. And uh, <clears throat> it just, it seems like we're old friends and stuff. So, I know, I really appreciate that, John, if you're watching this. Um, he's just such a nice down-to-earth dude. There's one time I'm walking past the WhatNot booth where they were mostly hanging out. He calls me over and offers me a beer and stuff. And then he introduced me to John Hancock. So obviously John Hancock was one, someone I really wanted to talk to because I'm going for the Sega Genesis Complete Collection. And he has one. And he's, he's kind of the big Sega guy. And uh, John introduced us and let, let John know that I was a uh, teacher as well. And so that kind of got the ball rolling. And it was kind of cool to like touch base with him on a different level than YouTube. You know, it kind of humanizes uh, each other and realizes like, hey, there's more to us than the people that you're watching on screen and stuff. And uh, so it was just really cool to talk to him about school, how this year's going and stuff. But then also get to talk about the Sega Genesis because I was kind of, I had questions about like, what's the actual full complete set? How, what's the number? Because I've heard a couple different numbers. And he said, you know, he usually says about 700, which is kind of what I've heard. You know, there's some that some people don't consider, like the Blockbuster uh, championship uh, carts. I'm not really going to go for those. There's also the, is it the Outback Joey or something like that? That was kind of like a personal trainer, but you had to get a complete separate like, controller to use for it. Um, so that's another game that I'm not considered for the complete collection. It was just really cool to talk to him. He showed off some of the stuff that he got, which was really cool. I'm sure he's going to show it off on his channel if he hasn't already. Um, then going around, we ran into uh, Bit Wars. Uh, so he actually commented on my top five wish list items video, and I just mentioned, "Hey man, if you see me, you know, say hi and stuff." Um, and he, you know, I'm, I'm looking at games all of a sudden here. Like, hey, Captain Algebra, and there he is. A really cool guy. He's a local guy as well here in Wisconsin. So it was awesome to get to know him a little bit more, talk to him, see what he was collecting, what he was looking for. And also talk a little bit about YouTube, like, and so he recommended some other YouTubers to me, which is pretty cool. I'm always looking for more people to watch. So really cool dude. I really wish I remembered to get a picture with him, but unfortunately I forgot. Um, then uh, that was pretty much what happened day one. So we ended up going to uh, dinner with uh, Game Off the Grid, Mega Dan, and uh, the Game Beaters. We went to that On Tap restaurant again, which was fantastic. Got a really cool group picture. And then once again, we went to the hotel room, Game Beaters joined us, uh, Mega Meg came, Mega Dan's wife, and we just played a lot of video games. Played some Mario Kart, played some more Blitz, played some NHL hits. And uh, what's what I love about hanging out with Robert West is every time we're, we're hanging out, there's always wrestling on. 
And uh, I used to be a huge wrestler, wrestling fan back in the 90s, the Attitude Era, and uh, the early 2000s and stuff. So it's really cool to like have that in the background and catch things that I remember watching back when I was a kid. And uh, so that's always fun. And then the next morning, woke up, Mega Dan and gave me upgrade. We're heading home. I went back to the convention uh, to say goodbye, you know, to some people as well as you know, spend a little bit more money and find some stuff. And uh, that day, one of the my, one of the highlights for me was I got to meet David Wise and Kevin Bayless. So for those of you that don't know, they were uh, part of Rare. Uh, David Wise has done a ton of music in the industry, and then Kevin Bayless did the artwork for a lot. And obviously, you guys know I love Donkey Kong Country. It's one of my favorite series of all time. And uh, before I went there, I didn't really know who Kevin Bayless was. So my whole goal was, hey, I need to meet David Wise. I need to get him to sign my Donkey Kong Country box. Now, obviously, I have a ton of other games that he's done music for, but that was the main one I wanted. And dude was super cool, super nice. You know, started to introduce myself, chatting, and super friendly. You know, I ask, hey, can you sign this? I'm a huge fan of Donkey Kong Country. And he's like, oh, of course. And hey, can Kevin sign it too? He's the one who did the artwork. I'm like, yeah. And so Kevin comes over. We're talking about stuff, and he's showing me his different artwork, how it's Pretty much everything kind of looks like the Battletoads or the Donkey Kong Country characters, like the basis of them. And it was just, it's amazing how everybody I saw go up to them and talk to them, they were super down to earth, willing to talk and just having a good time. And it was really cool to meet these people that are like icons of the industry, people I've, I've kind of looked up to and uh, to be able to talk to them. And uh, it's, it was really cool. They were also showing, uh, what is it? Salamandos. There, it's a uh, digital comic right now that they're trying to get into a full-fledged game. So obviously Kevin's doing the artwork, and uh, David Wise is going to do the music. So I got a signed poster of that, which is really cool, and of course I got the picture with them. So that was definitely one of the highlights. Um, and then I kind of just went and looked for more games, and then uh, I headed home after saying goodbye to some people. But overall, Middle Game Classic 2022 was amazing. It was definitely the biggest ever and I loved it. So much fun. So why don't we go real quick into the pickups that I got that were not Genesis related. So first of all, some stuff from Robert and Wes Gaming Off The Grid. Uh, so we got some Undertaker figures right here. Uh, so these ones I actually had gotten from Wes uh, back in August when I visited them. And like an idiot, I forgot them. I could have sworn I put them in my bag, but I must not have. Oh well. And so it was cool to get those, but then he had another surprise for me, and that this this Undertaker Heroes of Wrestling figure, which is super cool. And what's so it's sealed. He uh, he was at a, I think a thrift store, and they were wheeling a bunch of stuff out, and he saw this on there, and it's it's sealed. It is in amazing condition, and uh, so he picked it up and gave it to me because he knows I'm a huge Undertaker fan. And what's what's crazy is so this was done by Playmates, and Playmates only released two figures. It says on the pack collect them all and there's literally two there is undertaker and psycho sid like how crazy is that so even though i'm not a big collector of other things other than video games it would be kind of cool to get that psycho sid figure just to say hey i've got the complete collection of the playmates figures so super cool thank you robert and wes as usual great hanging out with you guys always have a good time can't wait till we see each other again next uh mega matt had a dust sleeve for me Thanks to Video Game Dust Sleeve, so I got another NES Dust Sleeve, Mega Matt 21. Go ahead and check him out on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. He's a really cool dude, really great member of the community. Um, so if you have not talked to him, if you have not checked his stuff out, definitely do so. And now we got the non-Genesis video games I picked up. First one, one of the first booths I saw when I got there is Premium Edition Games. And of course, if you haven't heard yet, Joe and Grant from VGM are now part of Premium Edition Games. So I had to talk with them and stuff, and uh, I was looking at their stuff, I'm like, okay, I want to support these guys, because they've been so, so great to me with Video Games Monthly over the years. So I did grab a robot named Fight. So this is basically a Metroidvania, but it's a roguelike. So basically, every time you play the game, it's a different labyrinth that you're going through. And just like Metroid, you can get discover hidden areas, you can gain different powers and stuff. Uh, but obviously, it's permadeath, right? When you die, it's over, you start over. So i played only a little bit of it so far, but it's a lot of fun. Next, we grabbed one Super Nintendo game, and that was Rain Lord. So this was an action RPG that I've heard about for a while and I've seen, and it's always looked really cool. Now, you guys know I hate turn-based RPGs, but action RPGs are a lot of fun. And I just remember looking at this at too many games in 2019, 
And I think I was down to my last, like, $25. And uh, someone had 30 bucks on, on Brain Lord, and I offered him, like, hey, this is all the cash I've left. And it was the last day of the convention. You'd think most people are willing to, to wheel and deal there. And it was only 5 bucks under what they were asking. You know, it wasn't like I was asking for a crazy amount off. And the dude said no. He's like, oh, no, they all sell for 30 I'm like, whatever. So I left it. And it's always been bothering me because I really wanted it. So I saw it. I'm like, let's grab it. Because honestly, after I grabbed my initial Genesis stuff, there wasn't a ton of stuff that I was like, ah, that's something I really want to have right now. So I was willing to spend some money on some other stuff. So really excited to get into that. Um, I played Soul Blazer and Illusion of Gaia this previous year and loved them. Obviously, this is not by Quintet and in the same series, but it's an action RPG on the Super Nintendo, so I think I'm going to really like it. And next would be my best pickups of non-Sega Genesis stuff. And this was an amazing deal. So on Saturday at the convention, I'm hanging out with Robert and Wes, and they get a message from a guy that, hey, we, we've got some beer for you. Um, and can you meet me out here? It's in my trunk. So they were like, hey, Cap, want to come with in case there's a lot of beer you need to help us carry? I'm like, yeah, of course. So we go out there, get their beer, and the guy opens his trunk. He's like, hey, he's got these boxes of video games. He's like, man, I was supposed to be a vendor, but I just I missed out on it. So if there's anything you want, look through it. Uh, and so Wes was looking through stuff, grabbed a couple stuff, and he was getting some amazing deals. So I was like, okay, I see some stuff I might be interested in. Let's let's see what it, uh, what I could get for this. And uh, so I'm going to show you what I got before I tell you what I got it for. And we've got Silent Hill Shattered Memories, Silent Hill 3, and Silent Hill 4 The Room, all on PS2. Now I knew these go, go for a pretty penny, complete. And uh, But I saw the deal Wes was getting, I'm like, I'm just going to see what he wants for him. No joke, the dude said, well, they're about $100 a piece, uh, how about $250? That's right, I got all three of those games for 250 bucks. Shattered Memories alone is worth more than that. So even though it wasn't Sega Genesis stuff, you know, I could have put 250 towards more Genesis stuff, I was still like, I couldn't pass that up. I played Silent Hill this last year, and I really enjoyed it, and so I wanted to play more of the series. I have Silent Hill 2, but it's like, well, I don't have any of the other games. And I didn't really plan on getting them because they were so expensive, but for 250 bucks, I couldn't pass them up. And uh, they're all in phenomenal condition. It's like they've never been touched. Uh, so it was kind of like a shady parking lot deal, but it was also really cool, and uh, it was a great, great deal to get. So I'm really excited to uh, step into the Silent Hill series a little bit more this year. So there you go, that was my trip to um, Midos Gaming Classic this year. Had a phenomenal time. I loved seeing all my friends again and hanging out with them. Obviously, the weekend is always too short. I didn't get to hang out with Chris Pico as much as I want to. Same thing with uh, Video Games Monthly and John Aguilera. I didn't see them as much as I want usually do. Uh, TJ, Mega Matt, you know, we saw each other a little bit on Saturday, uh, but that's the only time they were there. So again, we didn't get to spend a ton of time together. So that's definitely uh, the thing, the part that I miss the most, uh, and I'm most, uh, I regret, you know, spending time with other, you know, more people. Obviously, I had a ton of time with Green Man Off the Grid and Mega Dan and the Game Beaters and stuff, but you always want more time, you know, because that's that's the best part of these conventions: hanging out, meeting the people. Yeah, it's great to buy new games, but that's secondary, you know. It's the experience, which is part of why I forget to record footage or take pictures because I'm just kind of in the moment. Uh, but it was an excellent time. I can't wait to the next one. Uh, as for conventions this year, I'm probably going to, or probably I am going to Mo Game Con in Missouri at the end of July. I believe it's July 30th this year. But I'm probably only convention I'm going to uh, this year. So if you're going to Mo Game Con in July, let me know. I'm going to be there. We got a huge uh, group of other YouTubers that are going to be there. It's going to be a great time. But so thanks for watching. Stay tuned. The next video out should be my Sega Genesis pickups, and you are not going to want to miss it. There is a holy grail item there that some of you already know about, and I'm super pumped to share. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, this is Captain Algebra, signing off.